Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom. I'm actually obviously in a different location. Um, it's actually my daughter's birthday, and so I thought I would record uh, out here. Our sun in Fargo, North Dakota is actually shining for once, so here I am. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about, first of all, thanks so much for all the great responses and dialogue we've had going with this music theory uh, discussion. This course is going to be so awesome, and, uh, and I'm just really, really excited that it's going to answer all these questions that you've got about you know, how your fretboard works and all that stuff. And so, um, you know, in the first three videos, we kind of set everything up of, of how the major scale works and how chords come from that and what the notes are and all those sorts of things. Well, the next step for us is, is something that was a really big topic of confusion for me, and I'm not exactly sure why, but maybe it is for you too, was the minor scale, which actually leads to the modes. Now, in a minor scale on guitar, the problem is is that, um, you know, like when I was learning my theory, I learned that there was what was called relative major and uh, relative minor. And what that meant was they both shared the same key signature. So um, if you were in C major, which has no sharps and no flats, then A minor was a relative because that also had no sharps and no flats. And um, when I was trying to learn all my scales, it just seemed really confusing to me because I'm like, well, I knew how the major scale worked and now I got to learn Again, on paper, on, on the guitar it was a little easier, but on paper, I had all these major scales and then all of a sudden I had all these minor scales that I had to memorize. And I'm telling you right now, it is way, way easier than that. And so what I want to do right now is I just want to explain to you a little bit about how the relative minor actually works and then the modes would actually come from the same thing, which we'll get into detail in the, uh, in the theory course. So first of all, if you were in the key of C, we already know this because we've been talking about this, we have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. This is my little travel guitar, by the way. And we've also talked about how we generate seven chords and the notes within those, but we've talked about the seven chords that we get from that key as well, which is C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and then B diminished which leads back to C. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, the truth is, whenever you're dealing with the major scale, like the C major scale right there, what we're, what we're saying musically is, our main note is C. Our main chord is C major. So whenever we're writing a song or we're doing whatever, if we're gonna write a song in the key of C major, we have to make C more important. We, d we have to emphasize the C chord the C note, whether it's in singing or recording or soloing or whatever it might be, we're, we're emphasizing that to be home, right? So when we're playing a progression, we go back to that C, it feels home, okay? Now, modes and, and, and certainly the minor that we're talking about right now, some genius somewhere along the line, and I need to find out who this was, because <laughs> it certainly wasn't me, said, hey, you know what? How about let's be in the key of C, let's use the notes of C, let's use the chords of C, but let's emphasize something else. Let's just simply choose something else to emphasize. And the chord they chose was the sixth chord, which is A minor, for two reasons, two obvious reasons. The first obvious reason is because in the key of C major, your tonality is major. Your main chord is major. Everything sounds like major, okay? People are showing up for the party. She's a mighty seven years old today, so. Um, it's major, the tonality is major, okay? So think about it, if you go and emphasize the sixth chord, boom! For the first time in music history, you've got a tonality of minor. So all that happens, and it's this easy, is that you're in C major, you're using the notes of C major, you're using the chords of C major, but you're choosing A minor to emphasize instead of C major. So think about it. I have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and then A minor. That's the one I want, A minor. So what I do then is I simply start taking other chords in the major key. Maybe I'll take the four, which is major, and the five, which is major, and I'll attach them to this six chord, which is minor. That 
it's like every Iron Maiden song ever written is those three chords right there. So, uh, you know, metal spawned from that chord progression. Um, but that's how it works. So now let me move it down to the, the open position. Let me show you. So let's say, for instance, I was writing a song and I was going to use both the ton tonality of major and minor. Okay, so I have C major. Maybe I start off by uh, writing my verse. And I'm going to write my verse in, in A minor to make it a bit more dramatic. And then when I get to the chorus, I'm going to put the tonality in C major. I'm never leaving the key. I'm always in the same key. So I start off by playing an A minor chord. F, G, Sense. So that's that's my verse, right? So then I start strumming it. Okay, now I'm gonna try and make just a little bridge here to try and separate the two so you can really hear this. So my bridge is just gonna go F, G, F, G. I'm just writing this off the top of my head here. So we have A minor. Then we're gonna go to F, G. This is just my little bridge. I'm gonna go sorry. You see, so my song structure is is the, the verse is A minor to F to G. My little bridgey thing was just F G F G, and then my chorus went C G F. So in the chorus, I started emphasizing the C chord, and you can see how there's a bit of a build, a lift in the chorus when I start emphasizing the C versus the A minor. Now again, the most important thing here is that you're still in the key of C. Even when I was emphasizing the A minor chord, I'm still in the key of C. Now I told you there was two main reasons, and one of them was the tonality of minor. That's the reason why we're doing this. We're, we're getting a tonality of minor versus major. The second reason is, if you look at the C chord, the notes are C, E, and G. If you look at the A minor chord, the notes are A, C, and E. So they share pitches. They share a lot of pitches, right? C, E, and G is C major. A, C, and E is A minor. They both have C and E in them. And if you even look at the shapes, they're very, very, very similar. So I, I'm assuming that that's probably why they chose the VI chord out of all the other ones to call the relative minor. So most music is written using the one chord or the six chord and then moving back and forth. And there's just a host of songs out there that, that move back and forth between major and minor. Um, they don't all have to. You know, again, I was, I was mentioning A minor or uh, uh, Iron Maiden. You know, so if you took a song and you went, I'm going to go back up here and play A minor, F, and G. So I was going... That's just, that's like early, uh, you know, the uh, new wave of British heavy metal, you know, the, the second wave of that. All of that kind of stuff, the, the bands like Judas Priest and all those sorts of things, even Rush, all those bands used that kind of chord progression. And what was so awesome about it is, is it moved you away from just having everything sound really happy all the time with using the one chord, which is the, the C chord. So it's a really great concept and it's fairly straightforward to understand. So again, you've already developed from our previous videos the key of C and the chords that are in it. And you understand why it's the key of C, why it's getting the notes that it's getting. We understand the chords and the notes that are in there with our triads. And now we're understanding how we actually start songwriting and creating altering scales. Yeah, I'm going to use the word altering skills. We're not adding or subtracting or changing anything. We're just choosing to emphasize something else. Now, the question that always arises, of course, is, well, why not? Why the one and the six? Why not the two or why not the three or why not the four? And the truth is you can emphasize the two or the three or the four. That's what modes are. That's where the, the term mode comes from is going, OK, we're going to open up the whole can of worms. And you can emphasize anything. You can be in the key of C and you can emphasize anything. And we are going to get into all of that in this theory course. So again, thank you so much for watching and thank you for, for giving this a try and, and going to the Facebook community page, the Guitar Zoom 
uh, community page and chatting about this. And, and again, thank you for everybody that's been helping out, answering questions and just making really positive discussion. It's really awesome. And please, I hope you sign up as well if, if you're not already signed up. Um, and just just get ready for some really awesome learning. And uh, and let's let's take this music theory thing and just kick it out the door so you really understand everything from here on out. When you look at this guitar, you're going to be mastering the elements that are going on here. Then you can start moving into the next direction. What else do you want to do? But let's tackle this. Let's tackle all of the scale questions and the chord questions and the theory questions that people have. And, uh, and then send your, your guitar game to the whole new level. So take care, and I'll speak to you soon.